Yeah. So what you described sounds a lot like a system integration company, that uh, mm -hmm. traditional EDS type company. Uh, yeah. Do you see Ericsson evolving to that type of outsourcing company that you come in and really define processes and then run the processes? And, uh, no, I mean, look, customers? look, we're we're always going to be a services and a product company, right? Um, you know, in the sense of, I mean, look look at this on even just the radio side. I mean, look what we do there. We actually build products that are very difficult to build that do not exist in the market. And then very often we install it and operate it and integrate it for people. Uh, that process like I described on cloud where you actually have to come in and have one strategy end to end and you have to drive that continuous improvement. You still have to have products that are completely accessible, do the automation, do the governance, have different things like that. So you have to do both. And you can't ever get away from doing both. Um, and you know the, the product aspect of this is more along the lines of how do we actually build products that don't exist? Not how do we do Me Too storage products, or Me Too compute products, or Me Too security products, but what are customers' actual problems, and how do you actually fix those problems with the product effort? And then, of course, that product has to be installed. It's got to be operated. It's got to be large, part of a larger transformation story and so on like that. And so that type of product effort and that type of services effort goes hand in hand. It's not one or the other. And you've been here about a year, is that correct? At Ericsson? Yeah, it was a year, October 28th. Okay. Yeah. Can you give me some examples of some new products that you created and rolled out? Yeah, so the, the thing like the first one even around answering that question of, okay, I have hardware from a whole bunch of different vendors, but I don't have them in a single pane of glass. I don't know like where they are, when I got them, what firmware's on them, what BIOS they're using, or what even operating systems on there. So we have a very good multi-vendor equipment management that just comes in and deals with that. And then if you look at what we've done in sort of the platform as a service space, where it's complete application like deployment and orchestration and automation and governance for development, testing, staging, and production environments end to end, that's our past product. Um, and, uh, and then of course we have the VNF activities and the, NF, you know, the VNF activities and everything else. And that's just around just a platform that's sort of application led uh, and so on like that. And then again, we're rapidly following this up as well with like what we've done from the security perspective. There's about a dozen products inside of that that ranges from, you know, things that audit stuff to gateway appliances to security operation center software to a whole range of things within security. Uh, and then, you know, next year and even early next year is when we started to launch the next gen hardware and we'll be doing a lot of the things in the data and storage space and so on. Um, but it's been a few of those. Full sort of cloud system to run a VNF. Mm -hmm. That's something we've done. Multi-vendor equipment management, PaaS, the security products, those have all been launched. And then we'll start wrapping up, up the other ones. Okay. <laughs> One more question.